hello out there welcome to this tutorial once again on circle geometry this is the last segment of this topic check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on circle geometry in this video we'll be looking at alternate segments they will tell us what an alternate segment is the related theorem and solved problems so we go consider the diagram below so we have a, a diagram here ta is a tangent to the circle center o ta is a tangent to the circle center o and mt is a chord which divides the circle into two segments the shaded segment and the segment not shaded so the shaded segment is alternate or uh, opposite segment to the segment not shaded and vice versa so they are alternate segment to each other so we'll look at the related uh, theorem theorem if a straight line touches a circle and a chord is drawn from the point of contact the angle which the chord makes with the tangent is equal to angle or uh, angles in the alternate segment so we look at the circle a straight line touches the circle so we have a straight line touching this uh, circle and a chord is drawn from the point of contact we draw a card from the point of contact the angle which the card makes with the tangent is equal to angles in the alternate segment here we have the line emanating from one end of the chord and the other end of the chord so the angle this card makes with the tangent let's call it a, a is equal to angle in the alternate segment so this is the angle in the alternate uh, segment um also this is a chord so it makes angle x with the segment so the alternate segment is here and that angle is y so in any of the cases we say a is equal to b and x is equal to y so in both cases we are looking at alternate segments and that is the explanation of this theorem diagrammatically we will look at solved problems so problem one in the diagram ab is a tangent to the circle at p name a two angles equal to angle b p r b an angle equal to one angle bpq two angle apu and three angle aps so in the solution to this uh, problem we start from problem a angle bpr bpr this is the angle here we look at the chord pr so for the chord pr uh, we have a line from p and another line from uh, r so the angle in the alternate segment is at t here and there's another line from p to u and from r to u also this is still another angle in the alternate segment so the two angles now will be angle p t r and angle p u r so these are the two angles that are equal to angle BPR so we are done with problem A we go to problem B1 uh, angle BPQ BPQ this is the angle here and the chord is PQ so from P we have a PS and from Q we have a QS so the angle in the alternate segment is at s so bpq which is equal to angle psq which is alternate segments 
And now we go to the second part of problem 1B angle APU. Angle APU, this is the angle here, and the related chord there is PU. So PU from uh, one end of PU, that is P, we have a chord, and from U, we have another chord, and the angle is at R. Therefore, angle APU is equal to angle PRU, which is angle in the alternate segment to angle APU. So we go to the third part of B, APS, angle APS, so from A to S. So this angle here, the chord we are looking at there is PS. And we have another chord from P to Q and from S to Q. So the alternate angle there in the alternate segment is at Q. So P Q S is equal to angle A P S which is in alternate segment. So we are done with problem 1. We go to problem 2. For problem 2, in the diagram P Q is a tangent to the circle at P if angle A B P is 61 degrees and AB is parallel to PQ, find angle APB. So we can see PQ is tangent to the circle at P, and uh, if ABP, ABP is 61 degrees, AB is parallel to PQ, we are looking for angle APB. APB, this angle here. AB and uh, PQ are parallel. We can see now that uh, here this is Z. Uh, since we have Z here, this angle BPQ, this angle here, BPQ is equal to 61 degrees. That is alternate uh, angles. Alternate angles are equal. So we also go ahead, since we have a tangent and this is a chord, uh, we can find this uh, angle, call it uh, x, where x is equal to 61 degrees, that is angle in alternate uh, segment. Since we've gotten this angle to be 61 degrees and x is 61 degrees, so we can calculate this angle here, so that angle APB will be 180 minus 2 times 61 degrees, since this is 61 and this is 61 angles on a straight line so sum of angles on the straight line is 180 degrees and this gives 58 degrees and that's the end of solution to problem 2 so we go to problem 3 for problem 3 in the diagram AB and AY are tangent to the circle XYZ if XY is equal to YZ angle BXZ is 32 degrees and XAY is X degrees Calculate the value of x. So we look at the diagram. AB, this is AB is a tangent to the circle at x, and AY also a tangent to the circle at y. Uh, the circle XYZ, if XY, XY is equal to YZ, that makes triangle XYZ to be a SSLS triangle. So take note of that. BXZ, BXZ is 32 degrees, XAY is X degrees, so we are looking for X. So from here, uh, we are given angle 32 degrees, which is an angle between a chord and a tangent. So we look at the alternate segment to that uh, chord. And the alternate segment is this. The angle there is XYZ. So we can say angle XYZ is 32 degrees. That is alternate uh, segment. So from here we see that uh, angle 
y x z y x z is equal to angle x z y that is the base angles of the isosceles triangle and uh, from there we can calculate one of the angles that is x z y x z y is 180 minus 32 degrees divided by 2 that is the sum of angles of a triangle and since it is a isosceles triangle so we have it at 74 degrees so since we've known this angle to be 74 degrees and the chord to this angle is this so we can see now that axy this angle is equal to 74 degrees that is alternate uh, segment we are done with that so from here we can see also that this angle here ayx ayx is also 74 degrees since ax and ay are tangent to the circle so they are tangent from external point and the external point there is a so we can now go ahead to get the value of x so where x is 180 degrees minus 2 times 74 since this is 74 this is 74 that's angles of a triangle the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees and finally x is 32 degrees and that is the end of solution to problem 3 and this is the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it do check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on circle geometry thank you for watching goodbye